all right guys i know you all have been wondering about this hair so i'm going to be giving you all a tutorial first and then a full rundown on the deets and the specs of everything all right so be sure to keep on watching All right, so starting right out, guys, I'm just cutting the lace off. Um, I did kind of try to do like a little baby hair and whatnot, but it actually didn't end up working out. That normally is what happens whenever you try to create baby hair, like not on your head. You have to kind of like start over, and I always have to do that. I was just messing around with it because the wig was already kind of pre-plucked, so I decided to just mess around with the little baby hairs. All right, so I'm going to be um, putting the wig down with some got to be gel, of course. And this is just a regular method that I'm doing, you know, just letting it get a little tacky. And then I'm laying it down, I'm not doing anything, any, anything special on this part. Alright, so guys, I'm going in with this uh, stuff called Sleek Edges. It will be down in the description box below if you would like to check it out. But um, basically, it just gives me that shiny, sleek look. I just love the way it looks on the hair, especially when a hot comb and a flat iron is put uh, to it. It kind of gives off that press effect, and I love that. So I'll just be going through and just putting some heat to the, the sleek edges. And then next, I'll be going in with a little bit of shine spray. And the shine spray is just by Pink. It's called Pink Glosser. And that's just gonna give me a little bit more shine also. For some reason, I just like for my hair to have like that nice luster to it. This hair already has like a natural luster, but you know, I like to spice it up a bit. So I'm going in with just water here, guys. Um, nothing special. I'm just getting the hair just a little damp so I can define the curls a bit. And that's pretty much it on this part. Now, this part here, I'm laying my uh, baby hairs with the foam. A lot of people ask, you know, why all of a sudden foam is, you know, became so popular. It's because it doesn't give you that super, super hard look that gel can give you, okay? And if after you let the foam set and you comb it out, it gives you more of a soft, more natural look. Your baby hairs don't look like they've been super glued to your head. They look just nice and full flowy okay but you have to be careful because um foam wrap and things like this they do contain alcohol and will could make your lace lift okay especially if you're using got to be not so much if you're using like um actual glue but got to be it's terrible with that so even though mine says alcohol free um it does kind of still make my lace lift lift a little bit i like to go in and just uh tie a scarf down on it for like 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure everything just stays down and stays in place next i'm going to be going in with um with some of this pump it up spritz i had almost forgot the name now this is very old school i started out back in the day using pump it up on my curly hair and i just stopped but this stuff works wonders just don't use too much but it will give you that nice defined look and also give you a little bit of shine with that So I did kind of over bleach uh, my knots, which 
Um, my lace looks like it has a green tint because it does. I did something completely wrong and I'm not even going to go into detail. But to just kind of fix the front for right now, I'll go back and try to fix the rest. I'm just taking just a little bit of um, semi-permanent black hair dye and I'm just taking a Q-tip and just going over it. welcome back to my channel this video is so long overdue but let me get straight into the hair this hair comes from a company by the name of Yolissa hair company I'm not sure if it's Yolissa or Yolisa hair company but you know it'll be in the description box <laughs> but yeah this is their water wave hair I have four bundles and a ear to ear frontal okay so this is what the bundles look like they are fully dry i did show you guys how i pretty much manipulated this hair and kind of just put it together i would say i did something subtle but then to other people it might not be subtle because you guys know how i absolutely love my baby hair so you know i just kind of did my little baby hair thing i didn't do a whole lot the frontal did come pre-plugged which i really 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 appreciated i did not have a lot to um actually pluck okay almost any hair at all I had to plug what I basically did was kind of just they already had it pre plugged so I kind of just sectioned off a little bit of baby hair and then I cut cut it short and I just kind of shaped the baby hair how I wanted to I just used some regular mousse guys everything will be down in the description box that I use and to get my hair kind of like that shine I used this gloss spray and to kind of tame some frizz i had to go back to pump it up child because i don't really know what got to be got going on so i've been rocking with the pump it up and it has kind of pump it up has kind of made it into back into my curly hair routine because a while back ago pump it up was in my curly hair routine but it just helps to kind of define curls a little bit but you gotta make sure just to use a little bit because it can be a little bit overpowering as far as the smell and also the crunch okay but yeah this is the hair it is is fully dry this is what the curls look like it looks so good I am five seven so the hair comes like right here people ask me about my old curly hair routine guys I don't always stick with that routine it all depends on what kind of look I want if I'm going for a wet look I'll do that but I, I don't always go for a wet look sometimes I want the look like this the blown out more natural look and then it's like this all day it'll get a little bit bigger okay so it'll um get a little bit bigger but for the most part it'll be really really nice so i think that is pretty much it about this hair company um links and everything will be down below you guys already know if you've ever tried this hair company let me know you guys know it's summertime so y'all better hop up on this water wave y'all know i love water wave hair i don't just get it in like the summertime and things like that I wear water wave, water wave hair like all throughout, okay child, okay? So beach time hair, I know y'all finna go on vacation and everything like that. If you've been looking for the perfect vacation hair, I would definitely try this out. It's super, super soft. Um, It does require maintenance. I forgot before I log off. This does require maintenance, but when it comes to water wave hair, it's not super, super, super high maintenance, but you are gonna have to do some type of manipulation to it for your curls to look like this on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? That's pretty much it. <laughs> Any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. And I will get back to y'all like I always do. And I'll be sure to see y'all in the next one.